all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the editor.js so this is a new library i found just like a grip.js so in this editor we can also edit the text and delete the text and also we can add the blocks tables and all the things images and you can customize your code and all the things so whatever you want to do into this editor you can do it like the grip.js but there's little bit difference in the scenario that uh, we are just going to see so let's see over here so you can see there they have already shown over here a little bit kind of demo if you click on to and you want to edit the text so you can see it's getting editable and if you want to include some text over here so you can also hit the enter and you can click on this plus icon and you can include the text over here heading over here or you can include the list or image so you can click on this and you can get the image over here otherwise just hit the enter and if you see icon so you can see so you get a lot of options over here but this is not a kind of thing like uh, you are dragging the component from here from the right or left side and dropping inside the editor and it will be start showing like that so that's kind of scenario is not here but you will get the options on this plus icon and you can just choose those options and put it over here and just start editing those things so that's it you can do and also you can write the code so you can let's suppose if i'm writing the code as yeah so you can include the code as code as well over here and after that you can just go down and you can just write something else so that's the thing you can do also you can include the tables like this you can include the rows uh, like columns and you can include the rows like this you can use this and you can just customize your html template as well so you just need to pass your html templates into this editor and it will automatically start handling those things so it's a kind of cool the cool thing that we can do so i haven't uh, made any kind of tutorial on this and i'm just going to start the tutorial from the next video but in this video i'm just going to give you the introduction how we can use this editor and how this editor is usable like if you is going to start implementing or start doing the editing things into this okay so let me show you the documentation part how you can if you want to integrate this editor like the grape.js so how you can do so this uh, documentation already defined like how you have to integrate so step by step process is there so to get started with using editor follow these steps install editor.js configure and initialize the editor and install the connect tools okay so installation is defined node package manager source from cdn and local file from the project three ways are there that you can uh, initialize this so first one is this you can copy this command and paste it like we were doing into the react.js and just install that editor into your node package manager and start importing that like this and just use this otherwise you can include this cdn and initialize this editor.js like this okay so both the way are over here and you can use any way it's up to you and tool installation is this one so as described in base concept each block in the editor is provided by a plugin there are simple externals with their own logic so this is the only paragraph block already included in editor js probably you want to use several blocks so blah 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 this this is uh, something that you need to read and you, you need to understand and also tool connections how you need to so it's pretty same like we were doing into the grape.js so editor new editor.js and where into the grape.js we were doing grape.js dot in it so something like that it's really pretty same and uh, we also need to pass the properties inside this initialization as your own choice what the features you want from this editor and what you don't want so according to that you need to pass the properties inside the initialization and uh, you can use it so i hope you guys are understanding like uh, how we can implement but there are several topics that you can cover and you can 
read about this. I'm not going to describe everything properly today, but I just wanted to show you guys like uh, on this editor, I'm just going to start a tutorial off. In the few days, you will start getting those tutorial videos. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll meet you in the next video with this editor tutorial. Bye-bye. Take care. And meet you in the next